Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'll be doing Fender Play Level 1 on the Rock Path, uh, playing on acoustic guitar. Technically, actually, I'm playing on acoustic classical guitar, which has nylon strings, versus the regular acoustic guitar that has steel strings. Anyways, um, in the last videos, we've done Course 1, Course 2, Course 3. Yeah, we've skipped course four for a time being, and then moved on to course five, course six, and well, we're at course number seven, but we're going to go ahead and skip course number seven. I want to do all the song and riff courses in a separate video, all together in a separate video. And of course, there's course eight, and that's a riff course. Ah, finally, chorus number nine, first time chords, E minor and A minor. It's kind of weird because actually when I started playing guitar back in middle school, that's not the first chords that I learned. And actually, I got my old guitar books. Pretty sure, I have to look, but I'm pretty sure my first chords I learned was a C, G7, and G. At least, I mean, it's been a while, but I still have my guitar books. I have to take a look and well I'm pretty sure those were my first chords but here it's E minor and A minor well I think above here there was like what maybe a C and G but those were like partial chords they weren't full chords these hmm, might be full chords I guess we'll find out Let's see, there's E minor, E minor finger placement, A minor, A minor finger placement. That's interesting that they had to do um, two videos and two practices for E minor. I would imagine you could put all that in one video. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we have E minor to A minor. So I guess that combines both E minor and A minor together in a lesson. That makes sense. There'll be 10 activities in this uh, course. All right. Let's learn how to play E minor chord. And that's what the chord looks like. Um, In the tabs. In this lesson, In this we'll lesson, learn how to play an E minor chord. First, we'll review what a chord is, and then I will show you how to play E minor. A chord is a combination of notes played at the same time. To play chords on the guitar, we strum multiple strings while holding various finger shapes in our fret hand. Let's learn how to play an E minor chord. Here's what it sounds like. To make the E minor chord, we'll put our first finger on the second fret of the A string and our second finger on the second fret of the D string. We'll strum all six strings. Be sure your fingers are arched off the open strings and your thumb is pointed up behind the neck. Let's take our fingers off the guitar and try building that chord again. So your first finger goes to the second fret of the A string and your second finger goes to the second fret of the D string. Make sure your fingers are right behind the fret, not on top or too far back. Strum six strings down. Let's look at this chord from over the shoulder as well. So remember, first finger to the second fret of the A string and second finger to the second fret of the D string. And that's how you play the E minor chord.
Okay, I want to do that one more time. In this exercise, we will practice finger placement for the E minor chord. Again, the E minor chord. What the tabs look like? Didn't we just do this? Huh. I'm confused. In this exercise, we'll practice finger placement for the E minor chord. Let's review the E minor chord. To make E minor, we'll put our first finger on the second fret of the A string and our second finger on the second fret of the D string. We'll strum all six strings. Let's take our hands off the strings and practice finding this chord five times. We'll make the chord strum, then take our hand off the strings. Let's not worry about keeping any strict tempo We'll just go slow and make sure we have the fingers ready before playing. Here we go. So E minor chord, put your first finger, second finger down. Now hand off, first finger, second finger. This is the second time. Hand off. First finger to the fifth string, second finger to the fourth string. Two more times left, so relax for a second, then back. There it is. And last time, relax. Get the first finger and the second finger and strum. Keep practicing this exercise until your fingers can go to the E minor chord. We'll see you next time. Moving on to uh, first time chord A minor. By the end of the session, you have learned how to play the A minor chord. And this is the A minor chord. Tabs look like this. Okay. Let's learn how to play an A minor chord. Here's what it sounds like. We'll need three fingers to play this chord. We'll put our first finger on the first fret of the B string, our second finger on the second fret of the D string, and our third finger on the second fret of the G string. We'll strum five strings down from the open string. Be sure your fingers are arched and your thumb is pointed up behind the neck. So now let's take our fingers off the guitar 
and try building that chord again. So first finger goes to the first fret of the B string, second finger goes to the second fret of the D string, and third finger goes to the second fret of the G string. Make sure your fingers are right behind the fret and not on top or too far back. Strum five strings down. Now let's look at this chord from over the shoulder as well. Remember, first finger to the first fret of the B string, second finger to the second fret of the D string, and third finger to the second fret of the G string. And that's how you play the A minor chord. That's it. Okay. All right. Exercise practice A and finger placement. In this exercise, we practice finger placement for the A minor chord. Let's review the A minor chord. To make A minor, we'll put our first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the D string, and third finger on the second fret of the G string. We'll strum five strings down from open A. Now let's take our hands off the strings and practice finding this chord five times. We'll make the chord, strum, and then take our hands off the strings. Let's not worry about keeping any strict tempo. We'll just go slow and make sure we have the fingers ready to go before playing. Here we go. So first time, first finger, second finger, third finger, and strum down. And relax. Here we go. First finger, second finger, third finger. Third time, relax for a second. Here we go. First finger, second finger, third finger. Two more times, relax. And here we go, first finger, Second finger, third finger. And last time. Give yourself a second and come back. First finger, second finger, third finger. Keep practicing until it becomes natural to find the A minor chord. This is something that could take a while, so don't worry if it's difficult right now. We'll see you next time. Sounds like someone's going door to door. I did put a sign up saying I'm recording live video. So hopefully they skip over us, but I'm hearing them go around knocking on people's doors. Not sure who it is. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, practice and exercise placement. So it's that little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a little player as a metronome in the background.
Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Moving on to exercise transition between the E minor and A minor. I remember doing this when I was first beginning. Transition was a little shaky because I got confused. Um, you know, because the E minor is almost like the A minor, except it has an extra finger. And, well, anyways. Yeah. I got it now, but or I should have it now. That's a different guitar teacher. I don't recognize him. Who is he? Eugene Edwards? Hmm. Okay, parts of switching between E minor and A minor. And here's the two chords, the chord chart, E minor. A little review where you strum all six strings down. And then A minor, you don't uh, strum the six string and you move over um, a little bit. Move an extra finger. Okay. Tabs. Okay, that should be easy. In this lesson, we'll practice switching between chords E minor and A minor. Before we begin our exercise, let's review each chord shape first. Put your fingers in position for E minor. Try using your middle and ring fingers to help us transition to A minor more smoothly. And here's E minor. All set? Let's strum all six strings down. Now let's review A minor. Make the transition from E minor. So your middle and ring fingers change strings and now add your index finger to the first fret of B. All set? Let's strum five strings down from A. Now let's get to our exercise. Remember, we're switching back and forth between E minor and A minor. Here's what it sounds like. Let's try that together five times. We'll strum whole notes, so each chord gets four beats. Get ready with E minor, and I'll count you in. Do your best. One, two, three, four. E minor. One, two, three, to A minor. One, two, three. Second time. One, two. work. Be sure to go slowly with switching chords until your fingers get more comfortable. Keep practicing and we'll see you next time. Okay, then exercise. Yeah, this is the last lesson for this course.
I uh, was off on the last one. Actually, I thought we already did try. I thought we were done. So I'm going to play this again. Try to remember to count how many times you do this.